Hi, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to splits. As you can see, I already have my scene set up. I have a base trunk, which I'll be using to demonstrate the split on, and also the corresponding generators for this tutorial. Now, split is when your single branch is divided into two parts, and for split to work, it's essential that you have a few things set up. The first thing is that you need two generators, the parent branch generator and the child generator, which actually does the splitting. So I'm just going to attach the branch level one generator, which is my child generator, onto the trunk. As you can see, nothing really happened because we didn't enable the split on the parent generator. So I'm going to select the trunk, go to my skin group, and then scroll down to the split group properties. You enable the split by changing the chance value from zero to one. So now you can see the split on the parent trunk. However, you'll also notice there are still no branches stemming from the trunk. So the second thing we need to do is make sure that extend parent is enabled. To do this, select the child branch generator, then go to the generation group and change extend parent from none to any. So now you'll see two split branches stemming from the trunk. Now the third thing you need to do is make sure you have correct UV tiling. So select the parent trunk generator, go to the UV mapping group, and it's here that you want to edit the U tiling. Now for split to work, it is important to have more than one U tile, because when the child branch splits, it is using one of the U tiles for each of the split branches. So it's important to remember that in order for your child branch to split, the number of U tiles on your parent branch has to be divisible by two. Next, I'm going to edit how the splits look by going to my parent branch generator split properties. Here we have a variety of controls, like spread one and spread two. This basically controls the angle of each branch split. Then we have the balance property. This basically balances the radius size between the two splits. So at 0.5, both spines will be at the same radius size. Last but not least are the inner and outer property controls. The inner controls the smoothness of the split's inner crease on the parent branch, and the outer controls the smoothness of the split's outer bend on the parent branch. Now I'm going to show you one of the cool things you can do with the split controls. As you can remember in the beginning, we had to enable extend parent. So when you click the drop down arrow, you can see a variety of options that you can use with your split branches. Such as none, any, split one, split two, skinny, fat, breaks only, and then bottoms. But for this example, I'm just going to select split two. You'll notice this applies only one extended parent branch on the split trunk. So now I'm going to apply my cap generator on top of my trunk generator. Just like earlier, it seems like nothing happened. That's because I need to apply extend parent on the cap generator. So I select the cap generator, I go to the generation group, extend parent and change none to split one. So I'm basically applying the cap only to one of the splits. Just going to tweak it a little bit. So as you can see, you have a lot of different options that will help you get the tree to look the way you want. Well, that is it for this tutorial and thank you for watching.